finally, I finally managed to break in. Oh my god, the amount of preparation I did for this is insane. You're probably asleep anyway, so I guess I could just tell you. <laughs> you probably won't remember any of it later. Well, if you're wondering how I got in, I followed you home every day this week. And the week before, and the week before that, too. <laughs> I took note of your schedule, where you were, what time of day, when your parents were out of town. I took note of every single door, window, every part of your house, which ones were locked when you locked them. I memorized the entire layout. And after I did all that, I set up the perfect time. My perfect time to break in. <clears throat> and, well, break into your room. You might think all of this is a bit, oh, insane, but in essence, <laughs> what do they say again? Always fair in love and war. Well, this may be both love and war. Because I do love you. But on the other hand, you may not love me for doing this. Breaking into your house was our own little war. But <laughs> I definitely won. But... I guess I still need to win you from other girls. But that's easier said than done, I guess. I have seen all the girls who try to talk to you at school. They try to get your attention. They're obsessed with you. But you must see what I see, right? They're honestly quite worthless. If they were bugs on the ground, I wouldn't hesitate to stomp them. They provide no value to you. Surely you'd see it too. But I guess I am constantly battling for your attention. But I'm willing to fight. To give up whatever it takes. To have you all to myself. To have you in my arms. I hope it won't come to anything too violent. <laughs> I would hurt someone for you, though. I promise I would. If anyone gets in my way, I won't hesitate. And then you'll fall right into my arm. I know exactly what you like. Everything that makes you happy. And, well. I don't think any other girl do that for you. You know, I stole your phone before. Remember when you had to buy a replacement? And they had to back up your phone off the cloud. <laughs> well, you probably didn't notice because of course they don't mean anything to you. But I deleted all the other girls out of your contacts. Right before you got your replacement. Surely you didn't ask them for their numbers again, right? You knew that it was on purpose. I sure hope you would. I guess it kind of sounds a little insane that I would do all this, but... I promise I'm just trying to become the best girl for you. I want to be your ideal girl. Because then we can be happy together. And there's nothing else I need in this world that isn't you. Not even myself. I just want you here and... I want to stay in your room tonight with you. I can stay until maybe four and then your parents will wake up. I'll need to sneak back out the window. But 
I'll be watching out for you. I'll make sure you're safe and I promise I'll always be here for you. You don't have anything to worry about, baby. And when I'm here, I mean... <laughs> I guess you won't know that I'm sitting right by your side. Watching over you while you sleep. But... I am. And I will be for... As long as I can. I just want to be with you. You're the only one who I ever think about. You fill up my mind. I can't help it. I'm obsessed with you. I just can't seem to escape thinking about you. No matter how hard I try, I... It all keeps coming back and it's driving me crazy. I haven't felt like this for anyone before. But... I think you're the best one. You're so special to me, and you always will be. It's so difficult to see you lying here, not being able to touch you. You're so safe and vulnerable, and so adorable. I, I, I can't, I can't touch you or kiss you or anything. It's so hard. I wonder if I did, if you would wake up, if I did touch you. <laughs> it seems not. If I touch your arm lightly like this, it shouldn't be a problem. Anything to fill your skin against mine. But if you were to wake up, I could probably manage to get you out of here. I wouldn't want you to yell or scream and wake up your parents. Just the lightest touch should be okay. <clears throat> your hands and arms, they feel so special to me. I can imagine us laying together. Our arms in each other's arms. It makes me so happy. I want to lay down with you so bad. And I want to feel more of you. We could live together like this. I could cook for you every day, take care of you. But for now, I'm stuck sneaking into your room, I guess. Watching by your side. I guess I'm kind of like your guardian angel. You don't know that I'm here, that I exist, but you'll be safe. I'll take you under my wings, and if you let me protect you, I will. <laughs> You're so sweet and caring, my darling. No one appreciates you the way that I do. I should care about you more than anyone else because I am your perfect person. I wish that you could remember the things that I'm saying to you, but I guess I'm just rambling. These feelings are so hard to contain. They're so intense inside of me. It's starting to get overbearing. My heart beats so fast when I'm around you. I just can't help it. <sighs> well, I guess the good thing is that you'll never know that I broke in. <laughs> but if you don't mind me touching you, I wonder if I could get away with a little more. Hmm. <laughs> Would it be too dangerous to kiss you? I want to kiss you so bad. I want to be the only person in the world to taste your lips. It's not fair. I'm so close, but I can't. I, can't. I don't think I can control myself. Just please. Please don't wake up. I think 
I got a little too carried away. Oh, um, I, I, I need to leave. I need to get going. The sun will probably come up soon. And I, I don't need to wake you up. And you, you can't know about this. Uh, well, I guess I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> I wish I could tell you your lips taste so sweet. You'd probably be too confused, but it's okay. I love you, my darling, and I'll come back another time.